Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another 1.8 modding tutorial. Now before we start, I just want to say that I've got some big plans for these modding tutorials. What we're going to be doing is actually creating a teleportation mod and I don't want to give off too much info about it yet but it's going to include a lot of tutorials which you guys have requested such as GUIs, tile entities, packets and also custom rendering. So it's going to get complicated real quick because uh, I'm actually going to be skipping a lot of uh, simple stuff like adding food, adding names to your items because a lot of that stuff is covered in the 1.7 tutorials and still works in 1.8 so if you want to learn how to add food and name your blocks and items in game just head over to the uh, 1.7 tutorials and that will teach you kind of how to add food and uh, all that stuff I just explained just then so um, it's going to get complex really quick and I wanted to make these tutorials a little bit more um, advanced compared to the 1.7 tutorials because we just did really basic stuff and um, that stuff doesn't really like interest me that much that's why I was kind of a little bit slack on um, creating them because adding tools and food and stuff that's not it's not really exciting to me I like to have um, kind of more complex stuff but anyway I've also got I, oh, I also set up a github repository so if you want to see the source code to these modding tutorials maybe you get stuck or something like that uh, you can head over to the source code check it out for yourself and see what you actually did wrong in your code now you can also fork the project if you really want to uh, there is going to be a license with it as well I haven't decided what license but there is going to be a license with it as well but you can fork the project edit it however you want but anyway in this tutorial oh my god what was that? Now in this tutorial today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add in a creative tab. Now it's just not going to be a normal typical one, we're going to add a background as well. So what we need to do first is we need to go over here, click on our com.mrcrayfish.teleport mod and we're simply going to create a new class called tab, or we're going to call it teleport tab finish and then we're going to make it extend creative, whoopsie, creative tabs Control shift o import that and then uh, did I, I didn't rename that right let me rename that we'll refactor it um, tell not teleprot teleport finish and then we need to add the constructor now add the second one here with the with just the string um, parameter not the uh, integer as well and then we also need to add the unimplemented methods and this is basically just an icon um, for the tab so whenever you're in the creative GUI it will be that icon which is actually on the tab I top the, the top bit of it and then you'll want to select your tab icon so this will be the item that will be actually on the tab where you click on and then it will show up all the rest of the items so I was going to call it we're going to go to our teleport items class and reference our only item there which is a coordinate cache which is going to be a future item which we're going to get to um, later on. Now to set the background all we simply got to do is in the constructor method here called this dot oopsie, this dot um, oh my god set background image and then inside of it we're simply going to type in teleport.png and then where you want to actually create this file what we need to do is you want to go over to your resources over here and you want to click on that and then we want to create new package you want to type in assets dot minecraft dot textures dot gui dot container dot creative underscore inventory press finish and then I've made this template for you guys which you can use and hopefully you didn't see that uh, I've made this template for you guys which you can use for your creative tab and this is basically what you want to use for it so um, I've made this beforehand but this file will be available on the github repository I'll put a direct link to it just so you don't have to search for it um, in the code um, but it is there if you know where you're looking so I'll give you a link to this um, template which you can use now I've colored it to make it kind of like match my mod so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to simply drag that file from a folder on my other, other screen here or wherever you have it and you want to highlight over this um, these folders that we just created let go of that and just click OK and what you want to do is you want to rename it so it's tab underscore teleport dot png even though over here it says teleport dot png um, make it 
in the file here called tab underscore teleport dot png. Now in our mod class, simply what we want to do is create a new variable called public static final teleport tab and we'll call this tab teleport equals new teleport tab and then we need to pass in a string here so we need to call it tab teleport and then we want to go to our item class and then simply at the end of this initialization, initialization bit here we want to type in set creative tab and then simply reference it from the mod class so teleport mod tab teleport simply going to copy that go to our blocks class and at the end paste that there press save and then we'll go ahead and we'll run the game and we go into the creative tab here let me get that achievement to disappear we'll go right and then we've got our tab here with our icon we go into that and as you can see it has applied the background um, to the creative tab here and it looks a whole lot nicer now if you want to get or if you want to change this item group dot tab, tab teleport string here all we've simply got to do is go to our lang file now um, I haven't gone over this in a tutorial but it's very simple all you've got to do is um, in your tm folder here you want to create a new folder called lang and then inside of it you want to create an en underscore us dot lang file it's basically just a text file but um, instead of txt on the txt on the end it's just got lang on the end and this is where you can put in all your unlocalized names so um, the unlocalized name for the tab was item group item group dot tab teleport and then you'll do equals and then the name that you want it to be so we'll just call this teleport mod and then you press save and then that will set the uh, name of the tab now I'm not going to show it because I know that will work um, but if you do have any problems let me know Oh, let me know in the comments because I will try and help you out. But anyway, that's going to end off this tutorial today. That's how you add in your custom tab. And I will see you guys for the next tutorial, which will probably be working on, um, on the block and actually adding a tile entity and starting the GUI to it. So uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.